Hello dear programmers, how are you doing today? Welcome to the video series on a moment with NumPy and in this particular video we are gonna look into dot array function. So if you are gonna use NumPy, this is one function which you will be using almost all the time. So let's explore this particular function. Some logistic, we have to import NumPy and we can use dot array function of NumPy to create NumPy arrays. This is how we'll create. We'll call the array function and pass the list into it. Okay. And this is my NumPy array. And if I just go ahead and print ARR, we'll get this. Okay. Now, one very specific thing I would like to talk about NumPy array is the data type. We can see the data type of array element by using D type member variable. So it gives us int 64 as the data type which means numpy arrays are homogeneous you cannot have heterogeneous element if i change one of them to floating point everything will turn into a floating point variable okay so numpies are homogeneous all element will be of same type now we do not need to just pass the list over here we can actually create a python list let's say pi lst equal to and we can pass the pi list over here and you will see end result is same. Let's go back to integer. And while creating the numpy array, you can pass the data type. So in this case, I know that one, two, three, four, five are less than uh, eight bits. So I say numpy int np dot int it. You can see that data type changed to int eight bits. When you are creating a numpy array, you do not need to pass the list you can pass the tuple also so let me convert this list into a tuple and let's see the end result will same numpy will always return python list if we call a function called to list here you got the array back now this numpy array can also contain string yes so uh, let's say a string a b c and let's see what happens it giving me error because I have a specified data type as int. If I don't do that, things will be fine. Data type will be Unicode string type. Okay. So everything will be of the same type. Now we can also pass objects to NumPy array. Okay. So for example, let's say I'm passing pydict equal to, uh, let's say a with value one or b with value two. Uh, so it's my dictionary. I'm passing it into my NumPy array. Let's see what happens. I got a dictionary. Data type is O object type. To list, I got the dictionary back. Okay. There is one very important thing to consider about this. There is a function in NumPy called endim, which tells the dimension of a NumPy array. Now it's showing zero. Why? Because NumPy array is meant for creating array. So even if the array contains a dictionary. So it should always be into a square bracket. So now if I do that, let's see, this is one. So this is the short introduction how we create NumPy arrays. Now look into some of the special member function which are very useful. We saw D type data type and endim dimension. There is something called ARR dot size. Size display number of elements in the array. So if I say pi dict comma pi dict again, okay, it will say size is two because there are two elements similarly i can create a multi-dimension array also so for example let's say um, let me create a pi list equal to 1 comma 2 3 comma 4 okay so i'll just put pi list over here so i have a two dimension array data type will be in 64 dimension will be 2 and size will be 4. Another member function which is called item size. So if I say item size, it gives me the size of individual element, which means that if I change the data type over here as np.int it, this will give me size as single byte. Okay, so this is the individual element size and this is the overall size. Now the last thing I would like to talk about is shape. This shape provides the dimension of the array. Now it's two by two array. Now if I just add one more uh, set of element like five comma six over here, you can see that uh, this is a two by three array. And if I just 
go again and again item size will be one shape will be three by two okay so that's the way you will use the dot array function in numpy i hope i was able to explain this function if you have any queries please write it in the comment section i'll try to answer that thank you thanks a lot thanks for watching please take a moment to like and subscribe thank you very much